Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how you can save an incoming email to a SharePoint folder. Yes, so we're going to learn how we can save the actual email from Outlook to the SharePoint folder. And also we will also learn how we can save the attachment that is coming with that email as well. Stay tuned. Welcome back and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please go ahead and click on subscribe button and also the bell icon so you know when the next video is going to release. Okay so we are learning how we can save an actual email to the SharePoint folder and we are going to use Power Automate to achieve that. Okay so I'm going to log into my Power Automate and we're going to create the flow. So I logged into the Power Automate. I'm going to click on the create and the trigger for our Power Automate is going to be automated because we are creating a flow whenever the user will receive an email, this flow should trigger and save that email to the SharePoint. Okay, so in the trigger search for email and we have this trigger when an email arrived, version 3, click create. Okay, so our trigger is ready. We are going to make some changes here. Of course, in this video, I'm going to say in my default inbox. One thing that always recommended whenever you are creating any automation on your Outlook, make sure that you have a filter criteria. Otherwise, this flow will run on each and every email that you're going to receive. Okay, so we're going to put a filter here that whenever the subject content, okay, so our subject filter is if the subject have this permanent email text, then only this flow will run. Okay, now the next thing we are going to use another action in Outlook that is going to help us to save an email as an email into the SharePoint folder. Okay. So search for export. There is an action export email. Select that and message ID. You will get the message ID from your trigger. So scroll down. There is a message ID. Okay. So what this export email does, it's going to take that email that you receive and export it out as in message file okay so when you're going to save this email you can save this file as msg so when the user is trying to open that file that you will be saving in sharepoint folder it will open in the outlook directly okay so now the flow we have set up it's going to start when we're going to receive an email with the subject filter it's going to export the email now we need to save this email right and before we save it let's talk about the logic right so whenever we are receiving an email, we are saving it to the SharePoint. Now what I'm going to do in this flow, that whenever I receive this email, I'm going to create a folder in my SharePoint document library with name who had sent that email, right? So for example, let's say uh, Tom sent me an email. So I will create a folder Tom with the date, right? And going to save the email and all the attachment inside that folder. Perfect. So the first thing that we need right now is the name of the person who sent this file. Now we know in this trigger, you will get the email address of the person who sent the email, but not the name. So we are going to add another step here. Okay. So get user profile and user principal is from address. So this action is going to give me all the detail about the user who sent me this email. And I will, I'm going to use that information to create the folder. Okay. So as you know, we're going to create the folder. So the next step is create a folder, create new folder. This is an action in the SharePoint connection. So create new folder. You need to select the site address where you want to save these emails and attachment. Okay. So I'm going to save in my SharePoint site in my documents library. This can be different in your case. Then the folder path. So the folder path, as I said, we are going to create a folder whenever we are receiving this email with the name of the person and the date. Okay. So we will go to this folder path, go to the expression, concat. Okay. This is the command that we're going to use, concat. We will go back to the dynamic content. Okay. And then first thing that we need, the name of the person. And we get the name from the get user profile action that we just completed. So the display name. 
select the display name, comma, single quote, dash, comma, and this is where we're gonna provide the date. So as we know, UTC now, this is an expression that can give you the current date and time in UTC, but we don't want the time. We can use the time, but then it, it, will, it will make the folder name pretty long. So for this purpose or this video, I'm just, just going to use, use the date, okay? So for the UTC now, we are going to do format, date and time, bracket. We are formatting UTC now, comma, mm, td, yy, yy, okay? And close the bracket, click okay, okay? And you can read this entire expression here. So this action will create the folder. Now the next thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna create, or we're gonna save the email, right? So how we will save the email, you will use the create file. It's also in the SharePoint. Okay, so create file, I'm gonna select the site address. It should be the same site address where you created the folder. And then the folder path will be the path that we are gonna get from the create new folder. So create new folder scroll down and you will have full path so like that this is where we are going to save the email then the file name now when you are receiving the email you are not getting any file name because it's, a, it's an email so here i'm going to just use the static email dot msg dot msg is important because if you use this extension the command that we use to export will save perfectly your email as an email in the SharePoint library, okay? And the file content is going to be body, okay? So export email body. So this will save the email. Now the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna save the attachment as well, right? So same thing, create file, okay? Select the site address, folder path, and in here, the file name, now we're gonna use the actual attachment, right? So, so we'll go back to the trigger and here we will have attachment name. And as soon as you're gonna select the attachment name, the Power Automate will automatically add the supply to each because you can have more than one attachment in, in the email. And then file content is going to be the attachment content from your trigger. Okay, that's it, click save. So this flow is ready to test and it's Whenever you're gonna receive an email, it will save the email and also attachment if there is any to a newly created folder. So we're gonna test it and we're gonna see if this work. Okay, so I'm gonna save and I'm going to send an email to myself here with the attachment, with the subject line permanent email. So the flow will trigger, right? And click send. Okay, so the mail sent, I will receive this email I have received that email and I'll wait for the flow to trigger. And this is my SharePoint library, my documents where I was, I'm planning to save. So once the flow trigger, I should start seeing the uh, folder created with my name, date, and all the emails and attachments should be saved inside it. Okay, so as you can see, the flow just completed. I'm gonna go inside it, as you can see. All the steps are completed. Let's go back to our document library and there you go. You can see the folder, the name of the sender because I send it to myself, so my name, the date. If I click on that, I can have the email and the attachment that I have. Now, if I click on the email message, it will open the email. As you know, my email doesn't really have any message or any, any body in it, so nothing showing up here. But you can see all the information here with the attachment and the attachment is also here, okay? Yeah, so this is all simple video. If in case you have any such requirement where you want to automatically save the email de depending on the sender, subject, or any information, the filtering criteria that you decide, you can use this method to save your email and also any associated attachment with that. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Keep learning, keep watching. Thank you very much.